So our announcements this morning, Kenny, you here? There's a lot of people here. I know he's out there somewhere. Hi, Kenny. How are you? It's good to see Kenny always. And thank you for bringing him, Derek. We have a few announcements, though. Bible study was in person this week. There were, I think, 18 people that I heard came to Bible study, and that's just phenomenal. So I know everyone was able to meet outside. As it gets colder, we'll, you know, Pastor John said that we'll figure out how we're going to manage that. If it's going to rain, we have a, a Zoom meeting set up for folks, uh, but we'll have to just wait and see as the weather goes through. But I'm so excited. They're going to try to do that again this week. So if you're interested, please show up. It's 10 o'clock on Thursday morning. Tomorrow night, there's an all-church meeting. Um, that will be held. We have received donations, okay, to help renovate parts of the church here, but we actually have to vote as a, as a congregation to contract and use those funds, you know, allow the council to contract with, um, uh, with folks that can do the work. So tomorrow night we just have to get approval from everybody, so there's a Zoom call to get the information. It's on the website if you're interested in joining. Um, Thursday night prayer group, we're going to take a little hiatus Okay, for a few weeks now because we have, and we'll see if, it's, if we still want to continue forward with that. It seems like it was, a, it was a good fit at a time when we weren't able to get together, but now we're re-engaging on Sundays. We've got the Bible study, so we're going to take, you know, hold that back for a little bit and try to focus on other areas. Okay. Um, ongoing needs at the ecumenical food pantry. So if folks feel so called, there are bins here. You can come on se- uh, Sunday mornings and, and put food in the bins. You can also reach out to Paul Shaler or the, the food pantry, which is open 9 to 11 on Wednesdays and Saturdays in the morning. So we just know that, that even though we haven't been here at church, the need is still there at the food pantry. And there's a lot of folks that, that utilize that in the community. So if you're called, please you know, bring food to, to help them out. So let's take a minute and, and look at the people that are around you and pass the peace of the Lord. So the peace of the Lord be with you. So we have some joys and concerns. Yep, a lot of waving. We can wave. It's all good. (laughs) Some joys and concerns. So very thankful to see all the face masks and just to see everybody here in person. I actually heard something. Punk, you walked by and you said, it's starting to feel like church again. It is, isn't it? You're seeing more people here. It's starting to feel like that. Um, And I'm very thankful that we're able to start re-engaging in ways that that feel comfortable and they feel normal. Uh, very thankful this week for all the, the friends, the family, everyone that's reached out um, and, try, and supported our, our whole family this week with the passing of Sarah's mother. Uh, really just so thankful you know, just for all the support. It's been uh, overwhelming. So prayers this morning we have uh, for the families that have passed. I want to continue to lift up our whole family. You know, Sarah and Joe and Leah, Harvey, Jane, Linda, the whole family that's still, you know, still dealing with torn hearts right now. And my cousin's wife, Jennifer, um, lost her father, Peter, this week. Um, so I want to lift up Jennifer's brother, Phil, and her mother, Janice, as they start to work through life anew. So let's keep them in our prayers this morning. For those that are recovering or have upcoming surgeries, and there's just so much doubt, I want to lift up Jan Wilson this morning. And Jan is, Lord, you know what she's going through. And we just want to make sure that you wrap yourself around her so that she knows that, that you're with her. And there's no doubt that anything that is going to happen on the road that she's on is part of your plan. Let's lift up all those who are sick and those who take care of those who are sick. So Gay Warman, her work colleague, and George needs our prayers this morning. Carol Shaler's sister and Paul's sister-in-law, Janice. Bob Wilson, Punk Snyder. Kenny, and Derek, Fernando and Joan, Rhoda Josephson, and 
Pastor John and Sue. And Darlene Lynch. And for all those that are fighting through challenges or lonely or still working through the uncertainty is, we start to feel this new normal, we start to feel like things are, are coming around, but for some it isn't yet. And some there's new challenges that are presenting themselves. So we ask you, Lord, to help us clear the path to understand what's happening around us. For all those who are lonely that need to know you, be that beacon, be that lighthouse, so that finding you is easy, it's comfortable, it's normal. God, I dream of a loving world where we see each other with your eyes. I dream of a resourceful world where we cherish the unique gift of each other. And I dream of a hopeful world where we recognize the power of your grace to transform and make anew. I dream of peace. God, we ask you to work us together as contrasting colors. Join us together across the divides of differences. Bind us together with loving connections. Unite us together, combining our strengths. Knit us together in patterns of worship. And pull us together, demolishing our barriers. Mold us together, yet retaining our person. And cement us together, softening our bitterness and design us together to be communities of peace. Amen. And let's take a minute to lift up all those cares that are on our heart that the Lord knows, but let, let us lift them up to God. Let us be so bold as to pray like you taught us, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us stand for the reading of the gospel. <clears throat> 